Hey guys, what's up? It's IHEV and how is everybody doing? I'm back with another Minecraft video. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I know I am. So, as you know, we're on super flat and that typically means that we're going to be doing a glitch video. So what I have built here, guys, is a little bit of just a room here. Corner wall. And I'm going to walk up to this and I'm going to butt, butt up against this corner right here. I'm going to sort of look this way until I get like a... Uh, a weird glitching motion going on here and fail horribly at doing it obviously I love how when I don't record like I can get this glitch first try and when I'm not recording like I can't get it to work at all alright so you see how we're like kinda of bouncing here um, well we're trying to force ourselves through this chest here and we're gonna pull some Houdini stuff in just a second and just be like you know what I've pretty much had enough of you. <laughs> so, with that being said, I just walked through that chest. Now, there's no special effects or anything like that. Um, it's just a simple wall. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this and kind of give you a, a, a rough tutorial on how I just did that. Uh, so, we're using slabs. You can use any blocks and any slabs that you want. It doesn't matter. That is, of course, your decision. And uh, just for effect, obviously you don't want anybody finding your hidden room. So we're just going to build a back panel back here and just leave a block space in between. So uh, with that being said, nobody can really see back here. So like this. And then we just need to use regular old Minecraft chests. Okay, so the way I've been doing this is I've been I've been lining up on the outside block of this shifting, walking up to the chest, sliding over and hitting that wall here, and then looking this way. And then I'm just gonna start start trying to force myself through this door. And then I'm just gonna start randomly opening chests and looking around. There we go. And eventually you will just glitch through. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, isn't it, guys? Like, and then you can obviously get out another way if you'd like. Uh, and then just to test this, I do want to test this in single player uh, as in survival as well. So, uh, walking up to the chest, hitting the wall, looking this way. And as I'm doing this, guys, I'm sort of just holding shift and A. Uh, there really isn't any special technique to it. It looks like we might be able to get through in just a second. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, eventually you're going to bounce it up to where it just walks you through. So just ba back up to the wall there, and then just start doing this. Make sure you open a couple chests just to get that bouncing motion a little bit, you know, a little bit worse. And then eventually the entity will probably just glitch and just let us through. As you can see, that bouncing is pretty intense right now. Yeah, there we go. So... We can confirm that it works in, in creative and in single player. And so now you can guys can hide yourself in a room. Now, I'm not sure how long this glitch is going to be around because, I mean, you can walk through a chest and that might be something that they want to fix. So make sure you get yourself other ways in and out or just break, break the chest to get through, you know. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this secret room tutorial. I know I am definitely going to implement this in some places now that I'm having a war with Cleo. This seems to be something that I might want to do. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Peace out.